Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about sterile versus non-sterile micropipette tips. So this video is going to help you to excel in your laboratory techniques and you will have a better understanding when we can use sterile micropipette tips and when we can use non-sterile or should you uh, save money purchasing non-sterile micropipette tips if you have autoclave and you can autoclave them and make sterile. So does it make sense or not? As you see, micropipette tips can go in different varieties, sterile, non-sterile, filtered, unfiltered, long shot, low retention, white bore. The variety of pipette tips available can be overwhelming. But today we are going to talk only about sterile versus non-sterile. It is a common sense that sterile pipette tips should be used for applications where sterility is important. But again, can you buy non-sterile tips and autoclave them yourself to save money? In theory, the answer is yes. However, you need to make sure that the manufacturer declares them as autoclavable and be aware of the following. First is lack of quality control. Tip manufacturers validate their sterilization process and perform regular quality checks and in contrast individual labs don't usually test the effectiveness of their autoclaving process which can lead to contaminated samples. And second idea that I want to share with you that autoclavable tips aren't free of RNAs or DNAs. Those tips which you autoclate yourself are sterile, which means that they are free from living organism, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are RNAs and DNAs free, which are proteins. And autoclaving is not necessary, will denature such proteins as RNAs and DNAs. So you should keep in mind that if you need to perform sensitive assays where this is required, you should opt for the sterile pipette tips from manufacturer who can certify that their tips are free of RNAs and DNAs. And this is all for today. If you like this video, let me know and I will make more videos on this topic covering laboratory techniques. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.